Hey there, this is Katie from KT and the Squid. In this video, I'm going to be doing a quick review of the Prim Ergonomix Crochet Hook Set. So if you like things all crochet and yarn related, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. So this set I purchased off of Amazon. Uh, at the time of recording this video, this set is $16.49 and it's on sale from $18.99. And you have a choice between the smaller set, which is what I got with the, the smaller sized hooks, or you can get the larger set, which comes with larger hooks, and that right now is $20.45. So I got the smaller sized hooks. So this set comes with uh, E, J, US 7, US H, and US J, and those millimeter sizes are uh, 3.5 millimeter, 4 millimeter, 4.5 millimeter, 5 millimeter, and 6 millimeters. So um, there are a few sizes missing in there, so there's no I um, and there's no F. So I do kind of wish that I had the set came with an F and an I instead of an E and a J because personally those are sizes that I use more often than the J and the E. So I'm going to open this up and take a look at these hooks and then I'm going to try it out on some yarn and um, we'll see what they're all about. So right off the bat, I do like how these hooks look, um, and they do have the size written on the handles, so you can keep track of the sizes, but also I like that they're color-coded, so it's easy to, if you remember what color you're using, it's easy to just grab the correct hook. Um, so these hooks are made of plastic, which feeling them, they are nice and lightweight, which I like, I can appreciate that and the size of them is pretty nice. So I'm gonna grab a couple other hooks that are pretty popular and I'm gonna compare the sizes of them. So if I measure these hooks, they are about seven inches, which is a pretty common length for hooks like these. And but I, what I like to do is I like to compare them to hooks that I'm familiar with. So these are just from a really inexpensive set. I also have a review for these hooks on my channel if you want to check them out. So they are quite a bit longer than those hooks. Um, and then here I have a Furl's Odyssey hook, which is pretty popular. Um, and it is quite a bit longer than that one as well. And then this one is a uh, for all streamline and they are actually pretty similar in length so if you like the length of a furl streamline then that's um, very similar to these and then uh, these are actually my favorite hooks which are the furls candy shop and they are of course quite a bit longer than those ones so so for me I have pretty small hands so I have kind of a hard time with really long hooks. However, holding this hook in my hand, it's really lightweight. Um, I don't think I'm going to have a hard time with it because it is so lightweight. Um, and even feeling the difference between this hook and the Furl's Streamline Wood hook, um, the weight feels very similar. So. Um, and I, I quite like the Furl Streamline wood hooks because they are nice and lightweight. So as far as the quality of these hooks, um, I'm looking at them and they are plastic, which concerns me. And I can see where there's a seam here where the hook kind of meets the handle. Um, so I'm not quite sure 
about that yet. We'll see how it feels when I'm using it. And I'm actually going to measure the hooks just to make sure that they are the correct size because sometimes they can be a little bit off. So I have my hook gauge right here. So this one is supposed to be an E, which is a 3.5 millimeter and um, that is spot on. And then this one is a G, four millimeter. So I believe the sizes are all correct. Um, no, that was a seven. Yeah, that one's right. And then the H and the J. So this one says it's a J, but it's not fitting into my gauge thing. Um, I would say that is closer to a K, which is a 6.5 millimeter. So the sizing on this one does not appear to be correct. So that is something to keep in mind. So I'm going to work up a gauge swatch for a project that I need to work on. And um, I'll see how these feel as I'm working with them. So for my project, I'm using this new Heatherly yarn from We Crochet and we'll see how that works up. So my pattern calls for the H hook, which is the five millimeter, so that's what I'll get started with. So I will just get started on my gauge swatch and I'll let you know how I feel about the hook and how it works with the yarn. So I know I've only used this hook for a few rows, but trust me, I crochet enough to, it doesn't take that long for me to form an opinion about a hook. So, um, so first of all, I want to say these being plastic hooks, I was not quite sure. I actually was a little hesitant about them because when I think about crochet or plastic crochet hooks, I think about these and I hate these. I try and avoid them as much as I can, but sometimes I have to use them because they're the right size but um, these actually work quite nice so it, it glides through the yarn pretty nicely there's no seams in the actual hook part itself so that I like and then if you see so while I crochet it grabs the yarn really nicely the the shape of the hook is actually really nice so it grabs that yarn and it doesn't try and split it or anything which I can appreciate and it helps me crochet a little bit faster when it glides so nicely like that you know so um, that I like I do have questions about this visible seam right here uh, it's not a problem crocheting or anything it doesn't hit that seam or anything but I do question how well it's gonna hold up like is it gonna break if I drop it or if I put too much tension on it or something that I, I don't really know. So this hook, when you look at it, it, um, it, how do I explain this? So it's like flatter on one end. So this side is flatter than this side. So it has like this shape to it. Um, it, it's an oval is what I'm trying to say. It's not uniformly round. So when you put it in your hand and then the hook lays flat when you put it in your hand, it fits quite nicely in your hand. So it's not uniformly round so that it fits really nicely in your hand. So I really like that. Um, and my hands are really small. 
So being a longer hook, I had questions about that, but because it is so lightweight, it actually feels really nice. So I really like it. Um, so the, for the price for, you get five hooks, um, I paid less than $17 for these five hooks. I think that's a f pretty fair price. And um, I'm actually going to continue to use these because I like them so much. So the thing to keep in mind is this says it's a J, which is a, what, 6 millimeter? But when I measured it, it's actually a K. So that's something important to keep in mind. So for the sets, there are gaps in the sizes. So I, there's no F and there's no I and technically there's no J because this is a K. Um, so I will look to see if you can get the sizes individually. I'd be interested to find that out. So um, I don't like that there's gaps in the sizes. But overall, I really like this set. I think they're cute. They're pretty, they're, you know, they're nice looking and um, they work really well with the yarn. So I will continue to use these. If you have questions about these hooks, feel free to put them in the comments. Um, as I continue to use them more, maybe I can answer your questions. Um, overall, I like them, even with some of the cons. And again, I will link to where you can get these from Amazon. And I'll also link to where you can get this yarn from We Crochet. I'll be using this for a tutorial very soon. And um, this is my first time using this yarn, so I'll let you know how that goes. So, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!